Uh, dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for our church. Thank you for our family. Thank you for this time to go through your message. Please fill us with your Holy Spirit and allow us to receive grace through the message and allow these remnants to rise as leaders for world evangelization. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so today we're going to go through a different message. So for the last four weeks, every week, what message did we go through? The gospel. And the gospel is? Oh, good news. Very good. So the gospel is good news. And so we went through that every week for four weeks. So we're imprinting the gospel so we know it really well. Today we're going to go through a different message. And we're going to start going through school evangelism messages in English. So today, the message is about prayer and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Okay? So we're looking at prayer and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to look at the meeting of Paul and Lydia. But before we do that, first I want to talk about things you guys do every week. So what are some things that you guys do every week? So here's one thing. Okay, what is this? Food, right? You eat food every day. But to get food, where do you go? Right? So you have to go to a supermarket to get food. And so you guys go there maybe once a week, right? To get food. Mm. What about this? What does this look like they're doing? Reading books and studying. And where do we do that? At home, but usually you do it at school too, right? Okay, so you go to the, when you need food, you go to the grocery store. When you study, you go to school. What about prayer? Okay. Where do you go to pray? Huh? Church? Is church the only place you can pray? Everywhere. Where can you pray? Everywhere. We can pray everywhere, right? You can, you can pray anywhere you go. Okay, but here's the important thing. So these are things we do every week. And we pray every week as well. But here's the thing. In the past, if you were living as a Jew in Jerusalem, where would you go to pray? Do you guys know? Right? You'd go here to the temple. So people would go to the temple to pray. And that was their routine. They would do this all the time. But if they weren't in Jerusalem and they were outside, where would they pray? So usually they'd find a quiet place. So if there was no temple or synagogue, they would go outside the city and look for a place by a lake, by a river, maybe by a mountain, someplace quiet to pray. But when did they pray? At 9 a.m.? They prayed. At 12 p.m., they would pray. At 3 p.m., they would pray. So they would pray at these specific times. So what do we call that? Do you guys know what that's called? In English? <laughs> okay, very good. So it's called scheduled prayer, right? Praying at certain times. So why did the Jews pray at this certain time? Well, because Daniel did that. Do you guys remember Daniel in the Bible? He would pray three times a day. And so later, the Jews, when they prayed, they would pray, they'd call it the third hour, because they count from 6 a.m. The third hour, that's 9 a.m., three hours later, 12 p.m., and the afternoon prayer at 3 p.m. But the amazing thing is, when they were going to pray, 
A lot of times they were on their way to pray and they were guided by the Holy Spirit and great things would happen. But that was just their regular schedule that they would do. They were just going about their regular schedule and one day Peter was on his way to prayer and he was going to the temple and do you know what happened? He met with a beggar, a cripple, and what happened? His eyes were different. He had spiritual eyes. And he saw, maybe this is God's plan. And he said, in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. And healing came. So when did that happen? In this regular routine of prayer that he was doing. Okay, so now that you guys understand that, we'll go through the message today. Okay, so today we're going to talk about this guy. Do you guys know who this guy is? Who do you guys think that is? Paul, right? Paul's a handsome guy, right? He has green eyes, and he's wearing a green jacket, right? That all matches. It's so nice. And he has a nice beard. I used to have this when I first came to Korea, too. <laughs> so this is Paul. You guys know about Paul, right? He was a great evangelist and missionary, and he was traveling all around sharing the gospel. So he's sent out by Antioch, and he's traveling all around this area, and he is praying, and he receives this vision to go to Macedonia. So he takes a boat, and he travels across the water, and eventually he comes to a city of Philippi. So he's in Philippi, and he's praying. What is God's guidance here? What is God's plan? This is? It is a girl. Do you know her name? That's right, it's Lydia. So Lydia was a businesswoman, and she would sell something. Do you guys know what she was selling? So Lydia was a businesswoman, and she would sell this, purple cloth. So that was her business. She would dye cloth and make purple cloth and sell it to people. And so Paul was praying in this city. And it says in Acts 16.13, let's follow after me. Okay, it says, on the Sabbath... Follow after me one more time. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate to the river where we expected to find a place of prayer. So Paul was doing that routine we went through, right? Every day, he would have to pray in the morning, afternoon, and he was praying three times a day. And so it was the time to pray. Where do I go? I'm not in Jerusalem. So where do you go if you're not in the Jerusalem city? You go to a river. You go to a mountain. You go somewhere quiet. So Paul was looking for a quiet place to pray. But what was he also doing? What is God's plan in this city? Why am I here? And that's when he came across Lydia and some other women. And they were there. And so he started to talk to them. And he received the guidance of the Holy Spirit. This is God's plan. And so he ended up showing the gospel to Lydia. And do you know what happened? God prepared everything. God opened up her heart. And she believed and she accepted Jesus Christ. And she believed and she was baptized. Her and her entire family was baptized. And because she believed and she was so happy, she invited Paul to her home to stay with her. And you know what? That is the start of that small church in that area. 
but how can this happen? Right? It was just a regular schedule. Everything they do every day, he was just going looking for a place of prayer. But this time, he was looking, what is God's plan here? And God guided him by the Holy Spirit to meet this person, and a church began in her home. That is what I want you guys to remember. So that was for Paul and God's plan for Paul and Lydia. Just on his regular schedule, looking for a place of prayer, he met with her. But what about you guys? When you guys go to school, schooling to school is your regular routine, right? But what is something you could do when you go to school? You can pray. While you're studying, you can pray. When you go to a park, it's not just about going to a park, but you do this every day. You can pray when you go to the park. What about when you go somewhere like this? Yeah, a mall. Do you guys ever go to the mall? No? Come on. Only to buy clothes, right? But when you go to buy clothes, what can you do when you go to the mall? You can pray and eat delicious food, <laughs> right? You don't eat food at the mall? No, really? Do you? I do, <laughs> right? So you can go to school and you could pray. You can go to the park, you could pray. You could go to the mall and you could pray just like Paul. These are th things you do every day, every week, going to these places. And when you're praying, as you go to those places, you could say, what is God's plan here? Maybe God's plan is for you to meet someone like Lydia. So you can meet someone, and God's plan is for that person to hear the gospel. So maybe you have some friends that don't know the gospel. When you go to school, don't just go there to study, but pray as you study. When you go to the park and you meet new friends and new people, you can pray, what is God's plan? When you go to the mall, you could pray, what is God's plan? And God might introduce you to a new friend that is ready to hear the gospel. That is God's plan, and you experience that. Isn't that awesome? So that is the message for today. It's about prayer and being guided by the Holy Spirit in our everyday lives. It's very important. Okay, so let's pray as we hold on to the message today. Let's pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for today's message. Allow your word to be placed deep in our hearts. And when we go on our regular schedule of going to school, going home, meeting friends, allow us to go in prayer and guide us by the Holy Spirit to meet those that are ready to receive salvation. We pray for everyone here to be like Paul, going out as missionaries to save their friends and those like Lydia. We thank you for the message, and we pray this all in your Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Okay, everybody up, and we'll sing.